God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon de Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Today our message is titled, Worship. I will be coming from the Gospel of John chapter 4 and verse 23. But an hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such people the Father seeks to be his worshipers. My beloved, the Lord Jesus Christ is God incarnate, and his coming fulfilled many biblical prophecies. He had been born of a virgin, as foretold by Isaiah, and his birthplace was Bethlehem, as Micah tells us. He was called out of Egypt, anointed by the Holy Spirit, and Daniel even proclaimed the exact time of his appearance. The king of Israel had arrived, and the good news of his kingdom was being proclaimed far and wide. The temporary old covenant was to be replaced with a new everlasting covenant and the symbols of earthly worship. The man-made temple and the old priestly order were to be exchanged for the kingdom of heaven where Christ was to reign supreme. The hour had indeed arrived when true worshipers of God would worship the Father in spirit and in truth, not in temples made with hands or buildings constructed of stone nor on the tops of mountains. True worshipers would glorify and exalt the Lord in spirit and in truth, and they were to be instructed by God himself on the sort of godly living that he requires from all of his people. My beloved, the Lord Jesus Christ not only came to fulfill the law of Moses and the prophecies that related to his first coming, but he came to demonstrate in person what God desires from all his worshipers. So my beloved, although the Lord Jesus Christ was fully God, he showed us how to live our lives as God intended every man to live, in spirit and in truth. He lived his life as a demonstration of how we should live our lives, not imitating his actions by what we do, but imitating the way he lived, in willing dependence upon the Father, in humble submission to the indwelling Holy Spirit, and by walking day by day in spirit and in truth. As Jesus spoke to a lost woman at the well in Samaria near the beginning of his earthly ministry, he looked past the shadow of the cross to the glorious day when the church would be born and true worshipers of the Father would worship him in spirit and in truth as guided by the indwelling Holy Spirit and in utter dependence upon himself. And he would give to each believer his own life his own resurrected life, our new life in Christ, as we abide in him and he in us. But my beloved, as the Son of Man himself walked this earth in humble dependence upon his Father, he could also proclaim that the time now is when true worshipers would worship the Father in spirit and truth. From the beginning to the end of his life, the man Christ Jesus was the perfect example of a worshiper, a man living as God intended man to live, delighting in the Lord, worshiping in spirit and truth, living in total dependence upon the Father, and in willing submission to the Spirit. For the man who worships God in spirit and in truth is the man who is willing to say, Thy will, not mine, be done. So my beloved, as Christians, let us choose to imitate the Lord Jesus Christ and how he lived so that we may worship the Father in spirit and in truth, to his praise and glory. As we submit to the work of the indwelling Holy Spirit and trust in Christ Jesus, our strength and our Redeemer. Let us pray, my beloved. Heavenly Father, thank you for the beautiful example of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, who lived his life in total dependence upon you and worship you in spirit and in truth. I pray, Father God, that I may learn to depend on you fully and yield to the leading and guidance of your Holy Spirit in willing submission. I pray that I may abide in Christ and he in me, knowing that only as I rest in him will I be enabled to worship you as you deserve in spirit and in truth. And this I pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great and blessed week and say Set time aside to praise and worship God in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and go with God.